What's up, guys? So, we are doing a little bit of, a, of an experiment, okay? So, I found out from somebody that if you, okay, let's say, for example, the only controller you have is a Switch Pro Controller, and you like to play Fortnite or you have some other games uh, on, that are on the Epic Games uh, launcher that don't support a Switch Pro Controller because unfortunately there is a few games on there that do not support it. Uh, apparently, if you do this method, it will get around that issue. Now, as you know, uh, some games cannot be added to Steam. Looking at you, Fortnite. So, what this person did is he added the entire launcher to Steam. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try that and see if it works. So, you open up Steam. And you want to go to the bottom left corner, hit the add a game button, and then hit add a non-Steam game. And you can scroll through and find the program if you want. And actually, here it is right here. But if you can't find it, you can also type it in this uh, search bar right here. But since we found what we are looking for, we're going to add that. And then just go down here to where it says add selected programs. And that's pretty much it. So now you just go to your library. And... You can type in the name. There it is. Epic Game Epic Games Launcher. And at this point it should keyword should work. I've ha I have had some instances where I will add a particular program or Something like that, like an emulator, uh, specifically Dolphin, and it wouldn't work. So, we're going to hit this play button, and it should launch the Epic Game Store. And to make sure that we have no issues, we're going to close it out completely. There we go. And we're going to hit the play button. All right. And now, if I go to the game, like this game right here, I was recently trying to play uh, The Outer Worlds, which I thought would have Switch controller support, but it don't. You hit that to launch it. The game launches. I got my Switch controller already connected. As my computer screams in agony <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> All right, so now it says press any key or press any button. And we are actually able 
to use our Pro Controller, which is really cool. And this should work with Fortnite as well. So we're gonna exit out of this. And what Epic Games likes to do is it likes to minimize itself when you open up a game. I don't know why it does that, but it does. And uh, then it, once you close the game, it'll it'll open back up automatically. You don't have to click on anything unless for some reason it, your computer is not working correctly and it doesn't do that. But yeah, we're gonna go to Fortnite, which is gonna take a bit to load. So I may cut the, the load time. Well, second, I thought it just failed. <laughs> so we'll see if it launches. Yep, there it goes. It's launching. So, yeah, like I said, if you have a Pro controller, and that's the only controller you have. This would actually be very useful to you. But if you have an Xbox controller, then you have absolutely no way, or no reason to do this because. Uh, the Xbox controller works throughout the whole system, pretty much. All right, so it's connecting. Might actually connect fairly quickly this time. Okay, so I did have to cut some of that because yeah, that 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 was actually taking me quite a while. Uh, but as you can see, we actually have controller support. So what we're gonna do? is instead of going into a match we will go into that 1v1 map that I that is. I'm gonna go in here make sure it's private so we don't have any issues and because it's been passed through uh, Steam, whatever layout you have for your controller is what it's going to use, which is kind of cool. I actually, I actually like that. So the layout that I have right now, like it sees 
the controller as an Xbox controller technically, but I have it <clears throat> set up to where it's more in line with the Switch controller. And because of how small this map is, it shouldn't take that long to load, but we'll see. Now the music just stopped. Oh, never mind. Okay, so once again, what the heck? Oh, okay, I know what this is. But yeah, once again, I did cut it. And yeah, as you can see, controls are working like they should. Let me pick up, uh, let me pick up again. I just go with this uh, AR, or uh, SMG rather, and aim. Oh yeah, I can't shoot in here. So I gotta, I gotta go out of the vault. And everything seems to work like it should. So if I press B, I can go into build mode. So yeah. Everything's working like it should. Hopefully you find this useful. If you did, smash that like button if you haven't already and if you have any questions uh, comment down below what the what the question is and I'll try to help you as best as I can uh, because chances are chances are you may have some uh, you may have some issues especially if uh, especially if steam is not going to work correctly because you do I found out with certain things you do have to um, you do have to set up some things with Steam for it to work correctly especially with the Pro Controller at least in, in my use so yeah, um, again, I'm just kind of messing around here, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I, as I said, if you have any questions, let me know. I try to help you as best as I can. Um, this makes things a little bit easier for me, personally, because I have one controller that has really bad left stick drift uh then i got another controller where the d-pad doesn't work so really and truly technically the only good controller well semi good controller i have left is uh my switch pro controller which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is, you know? So, 
yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time.